Hey, this is Professor Perez. Today, we are going to work on problems that involve adding negative numbers. Now, a lot of times my student asks me, hey, why is it that adding a negative number is the same as subtracting its opposite? Well, my answer to them is, it's because adding negative numbers must satisfy the commutative property for addition. And therefore, in this video, we will use the commutative property for addition to prove that adding a negative number will give the same result as subtracting its opposite. But before we get started, we gotta get out Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, ready to go? Yeah. Today we're doing adding negative numbers. Mm -hmm. Oh, you think this is fun, what? huh? All right, Charlie, what? let's get started right there. Here's the number line. Let's start with a subtraction involving two positive numbers. Here we have nine subtract eight. Now let's do this on a number line. Nine subtract eight will give us 1. That means that 1 plus 8 has to equal 9. Now, by the commutative property for addition, 1 plus 8 has to be the same as 8 plus 1. They're both equal to 9. Okay, now let's toss in a negative number. Here we have 5 subtract 7 equals negative 2. So let's perform this subtraction problem on the number line. 5 subtract 7 will give us negative 2. That means that negative 2 plus 7 has to equal 5. Now, by the commutative property of addition, negative 2 plus 7 has to equal 7 plus a negative 2. Those expressions both have to equal to 5. And there we see it. 7 plus a negative 2 must equal 5 because it's got to satisfy the commutative property for addition. So 7 plus a negative 2, we saw it was 5. Well, remember, 7 plus a positive 2 is 9. And 7 subtract a positive 2 is 5. And we just proved that 7 plus a negative 2 is 5. And therefore, look at these two equations here. And let's summarize it. We now see that adding a negative 2 is the same as subtracting a positive 2. So notice, your addition changes to the operation of subtraction, and the negative 2 changes to a positive 2. Addition changes to subtraction, and the negative 2 changes to its opposite, which is positive 2. So there you go. So now, let's try some problems. 7 plus a negative 2, we're adding a negative 2. We're going to change that to 7 subtract a positive 2. And 7 subtract a positive 2 is equal to 5. There you go. How about 5 plus a negative 4? That's the same as doing 5 subtract a positive 4. And 5 subtract a positive 4 is equal to 1. Now how about negative 2 plus a negative 3? Well, addition changes to subtraction and the negative 3 changes to a positive 3. The negative 2 does not change signs, right? Subtracting 3 came from adding the negative 3. So you don't change that first number, negative 2. So negative 2 plus a negative 3 is the same as negative 2 subtract 3. And let's perform that on the number line. Negative 2 subtract 3 is negative 5. There you go. And now 5 plus a negative 11. Here we're adding a negative 11. But our addition will change to subtraction, and the negative 11 will change to its opposite, which is positive 11. So we now have 5 subtract 11. And let's perform that on the number line. Well, if we're at 5 and we move 5 units to the left, we're at 0. But we're moving a total of 11 units to the left because we're subtracting 11. And so we have to move 6 more. And therefore, 5 subtract 11 is equal to negative 6. So there you go. That completes adding negative numbers. And we proved it using the commutative property for addition. It is true that some people, when they do 5, plus a negative 11, they automatically know it's 5 subtract 11, and they get the answer negative 6. But when you first start doing this, write out all the steps, so that way you'll retain the information for a longer time. Anyway, we'll see you all again soon.